Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this very interesting chapter on direct and indirect proportions. In this chapter, we will study how the variation in one quantity will bring in the variation in the other quantity. That means we will study the change in one quantity bringing in variation or change in the other quantity. To understand the concept, let us take up one example. Let us see what will happen if the speed of the vehicle increases. We will observe that distance travelled would be more if the speed increases while time taken will be less. So that would mean that if this one of the quantities is increasing that means speed is increasing it is affecting distance covered and time taken and that would come to our concept of direct and inverse proportions. Let us consider another example. Say we are going to a shopping mall and buying some goods. Now it's very obvious that somebody who buys more articles will obviously have to spend more money. So that, what does that mean? That means that more the articles purchased, then more will be the money spent. And hence, money spent is automatically changing with the number of articles that we purchase. Let us take up another example. If we employ more people to do a particular work, then obviously time taken to complete the same work is less. Hence time is changing automatically if the number of workers is changing. Again these two quantities are interdependent. Let us start the concept of direct proportion. What will happen as the speed of the vehicle will increase? We know that distance travelled will also increase. Hence we can say that speed is directly proportional to the distance travelled. Let us consider another example. Say a car uses 4 litres of petrol 4 litres of petrol to cover 60 kilometres. Then we know that more the litres of petrol we will have in the car, more distance it can travel. Hence the amount of petrol and the distance travelled will be directly proportional. Let us try and make a table where we have petrol as one variant and distance as the other. Then we can see that if petrol is 4, km, 4 liters, then distance travelled is 60 kilometers. Let us calculate the values when we have 8 litres of petrol, 12 litres of petrol, 15 litres of petrol and 20 litres of petrol. To calculate distance travelled when we have 8 litres of petrol, let us see when we had 4 litres we could travel 60 kilometres. Now we have double the amount of petrol then the distance travelled has to be doubled and that means that we will cover 120 kilometers if we have 8 liters of petrol. 
Similarly, if we have to calculate distance when we have 12 liters of petrol, we can see that 12 is 3 times 4. Hence, we can easily find out that distance traveled will also be 3 times and that would amount to 180 kilometers. Also, 20 is 5 times 4. So, distance traveled will also be 5 times 60 that is equal to 300 kilometers. Now, we are left with calculation when petrol is 15 liters. Now since 15 is not a direct multiple of 4, so we, we will have to use unitary method to calculate the distance travelled when petrol is 15 liters. So let us calculate. We have that 4 liters of petrol is used when distance travelled is 60 kilometers. That means for 1 liter of petrol we can travel 60 by 4 kilometers and that implies that in 15 liters of petrol we can move 60 by 4 into 15 that is equal to 225 kilometers and hence in the table we have the value 225 kilometers it's time for us to study this table, we can see that as the value of petrol is increasing, the distance travelled is also increasing. Also, if we calculate the ratio 4 by 60, it comes out to be 1 by 15. Again, calculating 8 by 120 also gives us 1 by 15. 12 by 180 also gives us 1 by 15 and so on that is we have 4 by 60 1 by 15 8 by 120 on calculation we get 1 by 15 and so on for all the values we can find that the ratio comes out to be 1 by 15 hence we can conclude that if two quantities are directly proportional then if one of them increases, the other also increases and also if one of them decreases, other one also decreases. Also, their ratio would always be constant. Like in this example, for all values of the liters of petrol and distance, the ratio is coming out to be 1 by 15, which is a constant value. So, let us discuss directly proportional in more general form and come to its definition. Consider this table where x and y are two variants and their corresponding values are given when x is x1, y is y1 or x equal to x2, y is equal to y2 and so on. We can say x and y are directly proportional if if as x increases y also increases secondly for any value of x and y x by y comes out to be a constant let us denote that constant by k but remember that it is a constant and thirdly x1 upon y1 is equal to x2 upon y2 is equal to x3 upon y3 and so on.